There we go. No, no problem. You are you are your own man. You can decide what you want to do for yourself. And if you don't like Caesar, it makes sense that you didn't stick around. However, uh, we haven't really beaten this map yet, so I don't want to get into it. <coughs> hey, friendly computer, welcome. More Marek. Still in ads. <laughs> I'll be free soon. I hope it lets you go soon. Uh, yeah, so uh, Ben Watt will have to wait until tomorrow. I'll have some errands to do, but after that you should be free to play some more. It's getting close to Christmas though, so... No streams on Christmas Day, uh, apart from that giveaway, of course. Will you do this all day? What do you mean, this? I mean Caesar? Uh, no, uh, we are gonna be playing Mountain Blade. I wanted to play it today, but I cannot let this go yet. I have to play this, but tomorrow I want to play some Mountain Blade. So if you want that, then you can check the, uh, well, the Twitch will let you know when I'm live. Right. Uh, hey from the computer, welcome. I did. Uh, talk about that when you were in ads. So. <laughs> Why not play it today? Uh, it's kind of late here, so it's unlikely because this will take a while. But yeah, probably tomorrow, Mountain Blade. Uh, and yes, I'm I'm doing good. I just uh, last time we played this map, it was pretty savage. I died to uh, the time limit because it is called months until victory, and you would think. That means you win if it runs out, but it actually isn't the case. Uh, so we'll be attempting that again. Uh, I wanted to be done with that because this map is like insanely into military, and I'm not the biggest fan of microing my units all the time, especially when it's so tight. See, ya? no problem, Mika. See you around. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so microing units. Uh, there is plenty of military activity, we need to be ready for that. But before we do, we need to set up our first block. It's gonna happen over here. But we need to be sort of cautious about how to do it. We'll have to make sure our first reservoir is here, I think. I'm gonna pre-place it, because we will need it. I'm gonna switch to water overlay. Let it fill up. Let's we'll drop our salary to 5. Okay, we have the piping now. And we'll uh, will need to design a block that's gonna be in here and it's gonna be covered by fountains. It's just not gonna be simple. <clears throat> because this place kinda sucks. We also need to keep space from the staircase, uh, which isn't the greatest. Alright, so if we do something like this, let's bring it down. Like that. Get more. All that matters is that this block is actually efficient and doable. I can actually continue that piping. So it looks like it has been thought through with the placement of reservoirs. You just need to be really careful about that. Right. So. I guess we stretch it, we could even like not have this thing that comes out of it, just have it like this. But space is at a premium, like um, you should be using all the space if possible. But yeah, this looks pretty decent for a block, you can even do something like standard like, which is not something I suspected. But then this place is like dead space, or like, don't like that much. We'll be going for another little part over here, I guess. This should fit um, about 4,000 people, I guess, when it's done. Let's check the length in total. 96... right? 90... oh no, right. 92, so we could make it even longer. But then we all struggle to water them, I guess. 
Maybe not if we can place it as a war there. We cannot. And that is na there are natives. Right. So it needs to be different. Uh, how long was this? And the six. Right. to figure out food. We could grow some food in here, bring it in there. I think that's what we are gonna do. Place some services around, no rocks or anything, so I'm gonna be placing the things where they fit. Unfortunately it's a desert, therefore we will need to place two prefects. Otherwise stuff will burn down. Can I do a prefect on this side as well? Can I have it there? That's fine. And we'll have to do some temples. I need to think about this one market. And this could be a uh, amphitheater, I guess. So then this, this can be all temples. It will take a little while for people to actually move in here, and we'll need to optimize the edge. This map is absolutely chock full of natives. Uh, you can see how many there are. It's uh, bonkers. But we are not building on them, and this is, like as I mentioned, a heavily militarized mission. So this will need to be our trading as well as military place. But for that we first need to set up our actual housing. So let's wait a little bit. Until people come into the city. They are coming. So they do before stuff explodes from fire hazard. Also, it will take a long time for people to arrive into the city. Therefore, it's good to just keep placing houses as soon as possible. Sixteen thousand is no joke on this map. It's not that good for building on. Really. Only this is buildable, this rest is just covered in natives. Okay, that's done. Now we have some unemployment, we will need to figure out our exports, which we will use some of this uh, farmland for it. Let's clear that. We'll be making some farms, it's gonna be olives at first, I guess. Or Last time we exported marble, which worked quite well. I don't think we'll need this timber, let's just clear it out of the way. Marble quarries. Let's place a bunch of them around here. to be enough. We'll be making a warehouse fairly close to the area where they can trade it. Have it like that, that's fine. Make a road. Fortunately that quarry one is not uh, reachable really. So what's gonna need to happen is just add a road so they can deposit things but we actually won't need uh, coverage on that because uh, it will get covered from this tile. So let's just have it like this. Let's add some services in here. Engineer. Effect. This is an okay spot. It's gonna accept marble. because it's a desert, so fountains have crappy range and sometimes you cannot even place them properly, <laughs> just in that instance. How do we solve that? Uh, I'm gonna have to remove one of the houses, that's just how it's gonna go. And we will have to place some of our stuff back here. This one can go there. 
now they are large tents. Let's take a look at housing advisor. Yeah, still a whole bunch of people are coming, which is good for us. We do have a little bit of marble already, so we will open up trade with dangerous. Go into the trade scheme, export marble. We also could sell them Tinges buys other things, right? Yeah, if it buys oil. Alternatively, we could go for Volubilis, which is very cheap, and also buys pottery. And pottery is something we can make over here very easily. We, we need native rescue. I'm cautious about the natives. If you do trigger them on this map, it's gonna be absolute hell because all of them will converge on it. Play pets. Slot down some workshops. Those would actually have some problems. But we can have them like this. That's fine. We bring it bringing it like that. We will make a roadblock there and here. And this will get its own central services because we will expand upon this later. For now we'll keep it like that. Now, warehouses. I think keeping a whole warehouse of things is pretty useful in here. So I'll just add pottery accepting warehouse. And I'd like to make more soon. See if it's possible. Mm, still lacking labor. But let's just be safe. Wait for that to happen because we also need to make food. We will need to start making it fairly soon. Let's clear this. Population milestone. It also tells me that getting some oracles soon would be good, so that we don't have to worry about gods too much. We only have one set of temples so far, and I'm not too hyped about building more if I can help it to spam, so... Instead, we're gonna start working on some farms over here. This would cut the road a bunch. I'd much rather just use that. Is that fish? That is fish to use it for food if you need two types, which we probably will need for two types. So if you have it like that, you can have a farm like that. That wolf would still be comfortable. We'll have to make the entrance a little bit longer. It's not good, but uh, it's what we have. Let's place the granary upstairs. We're having a shoot through there. Make sure this road covers everything we need. Engineer. Refect. We will be road blocking that off though. No need for it. So it's this, this will accept wheat. Start feeding people that markets. That arrow child's just going up with the market placement. If we place it here, would it impact people? Probably will. Can you have a road like that to make it functional? It probably needs one to be like that instead. Just a poor chat. Yeah, it wants to go there. Hmm. I can just place the market a little bit off, that's why we have that. If it helps, it might not. Markets love corners, okay, it's fine. So, we're gonna feed people, I'm gonna give them a theater. And a school. You'll just slaughter them in plaza. Give them a form. Tax them. Give them more money so they don't revolt. Still have money and still could take bailout. So it's not a concern. What is a concern is the monuments. So we should be building our monument building things in here. Get an architect. Couple of oracles look good. 
let me figure out where we want them. I think we want them here. So just stretch this road. Food will, will be tight initially, but it's gonna get better soon. We also have a lot of capacity, so people are just moving in slowly. Choke point relay. Okay, that is the bailout. It's fine, we need to be cautious about distant battles. There are no distant battles yet. Once there are, we need to just invest into military very heavily. But we'll do it gradually if we can. Small casa. We'll need to start making pottery for local consumption. I don't want to bring it from the the, uh, from the entrance, it's too far away really, to be of any real good use. This is actually accessible and it can be fished on, so we need to be careful about reusing that for anything else. Or blocking it off rather, so let's just make sure we place things around here. This is an okay spot to put it too. If we oversupply here, we can use it later for other places, so it's not bad. Grenade is gonna be a pain to fit in here, but we can always relocate this later, I guess. I've heard there are jobs here. Ah, I want to be a lion tamer. Let's sort of follow. Let's bring the road up. Connect it to that. Make sure we don't block it off. Make an engineer and a prefect. This one will cover that. That's good. We will want a warehouse, which is gonna go somewhere along here. I wanted to keep this for access though. We could allocate a series temple. That would be okay. This is gonna accept Popper. No traders. Series temple. It's gonna be moved. Still lacking labor, but people are coming in. They should still be coming in for a long time. Yeah, we have a huge capacity. The oracles should help us with classifying the guards a bit. So they are happy with us. So let's make it there so we can have a road connection that we will roadblock off. But it's for an access. And the plans for, civiliz uh, for Christmas, for New Year, we checks have special traditions. It would be probably fitting to redeem a question for it, if you want, uh, but yeah, sure, let's talk about it. So, plans for Christmas. I'm gonna be staying home, so I'll be celebrating with my girlfriend, and we have some gifts for each other. We also have some gifts for our close family, which we will be visiting, or visiting also later, because some of them live far away. <laughs> I think I just said, yeah. Uh, and other than that, on Christmas Day, I'm gonna have, be having a day off from streaming. But that is gonna be a giveaway stream, which I think I mentioned to you already. It's gonna be on the 24th at 17 CT. And we are gonna be playing some marbles, which means people who are in the chat can sign in, get a free marble, and then whoever wins gets a reward for that round. And there are a couple of rewards scheduled. Uh, two of them are games on Steam, up to 20 euro. Uh, some of it is just redemptions, like Dictator stream and such. So, we are gonna have that. And then New Year, we wanted to meet with friends. Uh, we are gonna be meeting sooner though, on 29th, I think. Oh no, 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 this Sunday, which is 25th. Yeah, right. So that's gonna be happening, and then New Year we are gonna spend home, because cats haven't had their first or rather, they were kittens when that was the first New Year, and they didn't really like it too much. Uh, so I suspect they will be very spooked by the fireworks, so I'll be home. Nothing less special. And you? Is that a distant battle? Yes. Okay. Just let people move and also open up trade with Volubilis, they will buy our pottery. We'll be building an amphitheater. 
I want to make sure this place has its own entertainment, which is gonna be a little bit annoying to set up. Just because there aren't that many good places to put actors and stuff. I could do it here, but I want to fit a line block in here, I think. Because I can cover the reservoir from there. So I think we will set it up here, actually. It's gonna be a little bit awkward, but it's nothing we can do. Also natives, I almost built on natives. That would have been really bad. Let's make the actors be here. I'll just make it out there instead. Then we'll put this off. Now it'll careful about service. Build it there. Bath house as well. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. Fit. I'm sure it can be somewhere around here if we make a reservoir over here. Can clear this, we can bridge this. And then we can put a reservoir. Oh, it doesn't reach quite. Hmm. It's quite nasty actually. Where do we put it? Instead of one of the markets, it has to go there. So I'll move the Neptune Temple. It's unfortunate, but that's the only real place we can put it. Then it for my folks, I was thinking of doing my America Marathon next week. I also have a tradition where I watch Firefly and send them to every Christmas. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, your uh, America Marathon team, right? That's like American themed games. We talked about before. Might be neat. Uh, and traditions. Check traditions for Christmas. Usually I just at home with your uh, family or close family and then there are some traditions which are related to like Christianity, but very few people actually do follow that. Like there is Christmas Mass, so you go on that usually. Church. We don't do that though. So you're not very religious at all. So it kind of depends who you are and what you do. But yeah, um, no real like very odd traditions or anything really interesting to say. I I think. But uh, I think do do you follow the American tradition of having gifts in the morning or do you have them in the evening? Because in here we have them in the evening. So, and the Christ 24th, the Christmas day, you wake up, you should not eat anything throughout the day, because otherwise you are not gonna see the golden pig. And then in the uh, evening, you have a dinner, and then evening for family, morning for kids, right, yeah, yeah, makes sense. They cannot wait, I guess. Uh, in here it's all in the evening, so everyone has to wait. And, yeah, so... You have a dinner and after you eat, uh, the if you have kids, the uh, father usually will ring a bell, like, uh, we don't have Santa, we have Ježíšek, which is like barbarization of Santa, I guess. So it's like Jesus is bringing uh, the gifts, but he's invisible and never seen and nobody really knows how Ježíšek looks like, but it's supposed to be Jesus. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, he rings a bell and then, oh yeah, Jesus was here, and then you see the gifts there. So, that's how it works if you have kids. If you don't have kids, then you just transfer gifts. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a tradition. I hope that answers your question. Okay, right. Still have unemployment, I need to deal with it. Soon. Clear this. I think last time I had my uh, granary up here, I might have to clear some quarries for it. Which is not what I wanted since it's my marble source, but it's better than scuppering my farms. Let's make some farms, not. Not go, don't go overboard, go, we don't need that much food. 
and this would be inefficient, I guess. We could actually have the granary down here, but it's not good because it's kind of in the way for a farm. No, it's not. I cannot have it. Therefore, the granary there is actually perfect. Okay. Just need to access it from a different way then. Well, that's interesting. I never considered it placing, placing it this way because we had a reservoir in here before to fit people up there. But this will work. Just need to make sure that we tailor it so we fit as many farms as possible. Uh, how do we do this? It's not gonna look pretty, that's for sure. It's the maximum amount I can fit. This is a dead space, but I cannot do anything about that. So this will be a mess. Uh, it will need to touch every single farm. This road layout. But we can make it happen. We also shut this off. Have the granite have its own service. Just make two because uh, it's a desert, so you don't want it to explode. Uh, neat. Uh, I like your word for Santa Claus. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not supposed to be Santa. Like some people would uh, properly yell at me that uh, it's not Santa. It's Jesus. And uh, yeah, we don't have like Santa Claus tradition really, but it's like very similar, eerily similar. So for all intents and purposes, it's basically Santa. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a thing. I had an interesting conversation with Dark uh, Dark Viking uh, about his religion. Uh, Joe's fitness is needed. He was very fair to not trying to convert me or nothing. <laughs> he was nice about it. Yeah, sure. Dark is a nice guy. I like talking to him as well. I myself am not a very religious person, but sometimes you just need to talk to different people who believe in different things. I think it's healthy overall, because being enclosed in your little bubble doesn't really help anyone, or least of all you. Because, you know, life, you have to interact with people from time to time, and might as well have it happen on your terms, when you actually are relaxed and can actually glean some information, rather than, uh, you know, when, when you don't accept any other opinions, it would lead to you being instantly infuriated, and that's not good for anyone. So it's better to just build up your resistance. <laughs> Even if you don't agree with someone, it's good to talk to them. But that's not specifically talking about Darth, by the way. It's just uh, how I approach life or people I disagree with slightly. It's good in a way. It maybe even serves you better than a friend sometimes. But that might be a stretch. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we need a whole bunch of workers, let that happen. I will, however, start making them have food, because that would be bad if we didn't have that. Let's build it in here. Let's build the barracks. I know I'm spending too much, but enemy is coming and it's not a small attack. I will need to deal with it, this map is absolutely insane. Oh, that last tile is actually not what I want. So we separate that into another road network, bring it down there. These guys will cover it, it's just the prefect will most likely not be enough. We can place another one in here, this tile can count, then it here. I missed part of what you said because of ads, <laughs> but I understand your sentiment, I agree again. <laughs> okay, so for the ads, why are you getting hit disproportionately? <laughs> so much. It shouldn't be like this. We've been only alive for 34 minutes. <laughs> and I don't know which parts you missed, so I'm probably not gonna repeat that. <laughs> Let's make some forts. I cannot really use this farmland, this is just uh, for baiting people into that. But we could make our forts up here, which actually is kinda good. So we will be doing that. We could also just fight on the staircases, I guess, but I like to fight in the native villages a bit. 
They are good for defense. Increased trading of something. Okay. That works. Start making units. Neptune Blessing. It's good for money. Did I switch my Celerate to lower levels? Yes, I did. Yeah, and Polterra is just struggling to keep up. It will build up though. It will build up. Made some money again. Groups are being made. That's good. The lack of Polterra is disturbing. Why is it like this? It's four workshops, it should be fine. These guys are still small. Do they hate their surroundings? No. Now we actually are negative or uh, we stabilized our labor situation. That's good. We will want to make uh, oil soon. So that's something to consider. For now, just keep making units. And yeah, oil would be great so that we can expand our exports. So we can sell it to a bunch of people. Just need the infrastructure for it. Let's wait until we have some uh, free labor. Some of the houses are still struggling with pottery, now it's good. They need to just build up a stockpile or whatever. And they are selling pottery like candy. They need more. This should be enough. I wanted a highway though. Mm, we could have it here, I guess. Maybe we just don't make the highway. It's too much of a hassle, really. Let's make it dark. Connect. Engineer. Effect. Roadblock. The roadblock can actually go even further. Just milling about in the staircase. That's great. They love to do that. And we'll need another fort. Even the first attack is quite large. I just cannot underestimate it. If I do, I will die. Farm for olives. Let's make a couple. Workshops for oil. Want to crook this road a little bit. Okay. Now we need a warehouse. I'd be okay with the warehouse being here. Bring a road. That instead. I will book that off. So accept oil. I know the enemy is at the door. That's why I've been expanding our military quite a bit. Small insulae are good for taxes. We don't really need to evolve them more for now, that will be sufficient. Let's take a look at our housing advisor. 12,500 people, 500 available capacity still, which is good. We need to also figure out something important. Where are we gonna fit our Grand Temples? I need Grand Temple to Mars or I will absolutely die. I think I can deal with them with only a couple of towers. So having a Grand Temple here would actually make sense. Maybe we get Timber though, I scrap a bunch of the trees. Maybe here it's fine, they don't usually go for this. It's gonna be extra labor though. So yeah, that is definitely gonna be a concern. We can fit a Mars Temple in here, that's good. 
Need to exploit this lower area for the resources though. And we will be able to do that with a couple of timber yards. And clay pits. I wish we could fit more. We maybe could. If we do this instead. So 2 and 2 I usually like a good number. In that ballpark. Uh, let's cut this off. Make an engineer as well as a prefect. We will have to set a warehouse to accept these things. In here would be fine. Just stretch that. I can even roadblock that off. This is going to accept. Supply and timber. It will, however, not supply workshops or traders. He wants pottery, and we are making it, so he should be happy soon. Made happy soon, rather. Uh, right, we might need another block, not too far in our future. Let's spend some of our hard-earned money to clear this. Let me check something real quick. should be fine still, I think. And I need to consider how do we get more people. I I would maybe consider just adding a line block in here. It would be pretty simple to set up. But it's not great for you to make line blocks, to say the least. So if you take a look at piping, around here so yeah let's make a road adjacent like that it's gonna have to connect into the block itself like that we'll have a road block we will give them an engineer as well as a prefect and other services uh, these will be markets most likely I guess one would actually be enough what we might want to do is just take a look at the piping again, it ends around here. So what I wanted to do was stretch it even further and then have a doctor as well as a barber in here. We also fit other uh, services in here, so it's gonna be a theater as well as a school. School right there. Amphitheater will be giving them a temple, and the temple will be. It doesn't really matter, but I think Neptune is decent for this purpose. Let's just fit it. And this should be enough to service people. It's all the things. Let's just set up a couple of markets. I think one we'll experiment with having only one. Uh, Fountain will be able to reach people, right? No, not really. So I'll have to account for that. That's really unfortunate. If we had get on temple to Neptune, we could uh, we could walk people from this other side, but like this, it's just not possible. Oh, well, that's not good. But let's make how, how spaced out can they be? So if it covers just a corner, it could be like two houses gap, two houses gap, right? So it's like that, gap, house, another house, another house, house, gap, another house, gap, another house, gap, another house, gap, another house, another house. Let's try this, Let's see if it works. It will work, hopefully. You have the piping. Middle dispatch, is ready. Send him his pottery. Are we not getting soldiers in here? 
because of how the fort is set up. No, he was refilling that fort. Right, good. I'm not swimming in money, but let's make them plaza. Oh yeah, I need a bathhouse as well. I didn't consider that earlier. Where do we make it? It's gonna have to be instead of one of the houses, I suppose. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but I just have to do it. Houses. native roads and such. We'll be making a new fort so that they can start filling that in immediately. Native risk. We'll make another fort. Place it on the edge of the natives here. Take everyone, or actually leave that one to refill a moment early. Getting our guys forward. Oh, I forgot about something crucial. What we need is a military academy. It might actually be good if we take some losses. Not a lot, but some losses. Would actually benefit us here. Some people are still on the way. That's good. Spirit of Mars helps. Send our guys to help. Don't have that many, but let's hope it's enough. As I said, if he takes some losses, I would be happy with that actually. So they can get their academy training. Elephants. And some infantry left. They are dealt with. So they take back to fort. Over here we will be starting to water people, but uh, wait a little bit, this needs to be merged first. It could be really bad if it doesn't. It's a desert, I think uh, having another prefect would actually be good here. Let's make sure it doesn't explode. Okay, unemployment is mounting. We will solve it by having more oil, because we can trade it. That's gonna help us get more money. So let's make sure that this is traversable. We'll be properly making a roadblock though. I don't like the look of this layout at all. Oh, uh, but how? Well, let's do it like that. And then you'll have to figure out how to... Yeah, we'll build a farm there. Just bring the road like this. This is fine. Let's make this. Make another prefect. Fit more workshops. I need to be cautious about space for the Grand Temple to Mars. So it fits uh, perfectly, basically. Unless we move this worker camp, which actually wouldn't be a big deal. Let's build it here instead. And that's gonna allow me to make it Mars Temple here, which means we have four squares left, which means two workshops. We built one, I guess. Does it have things in it? No, we just build it. So that's three in total. We need one more somewhere. I don't want to connect that up if I can help it. It's getting really crooked, but we need to figure out a way to place them. If we scrapped this workshop, we could even make it closer, I guess. Yeah, and then we can fit another workshop in here, and Pottery can go over here. It's not a big deal, it's still quite close to these, so that's fine. Yeah, that's gonna actually work out nicely, I think. 
but we definitely need to ramp up our production of units. Okay, let people move into the houses. We'll need that to happen soon. Okay, that's done. This is done. This is done. Well, let's just water them. We'll be giving them a forum as well. So they will become nice insulate. Just stuffing people in as wide as possible because we just don't have much space at all. What about our fire? Uh, okay, I don't have service in here. It's dumb, what was that? Work camp, all workshop, okay. I hope my academy doesn't burn down, that would be the worst. Uh, let's build them services in here, somewhere. I think here is fine, that's a good spot for it actually. Yeah, yeah, make it happen. Let's hope we can extinguish that. For its best, the academy. That would be a thousand lost. Workshop. Work camp. Start working on the Grand Temple to Mars. We also will start to fill in our last available fort that we currently have. A lot of oil, are we even exporting it? No. Start doing that then. Uh, yeah. And more marble might be necessary, we'll see. If it is, I will have to get it from somewhere else though, there's just no way I'm fitting it around here. Maybe here, since we'll stop invasions in here. So this actually is kinda okay to build up on. Just annoying. Made a bunch of money now, that's good. Temple should be getting built. Should be right. Maybe it bothers it that it has access to two places. Like that. Might have to really block it off. One of them. Right? Maybe it wants me to distort the road slightly. So it doesn't have access to that. And then if it's only one, they should start doing it. I might have to reposition it, that would be the worst. Let's try to move this entire road. By two, I guess. So it's kinda useful still. We'll have to move this prefect. Will you start building my monument? Oh, it's not connected. Um, that was special. Okay. Let's just ignore that happened. Let's sort of look it off. Okay. Yeah, we do have mana. So, about this. Can I water it? I probably can't. Yeah, I can't. It's fine. What about this? We could if we pacify the natives, I guess. But no, this is the extent we can get. Also, we need to increase the output of food into that, because it's running low. We could also farm this, so we need to be careful with this bridge position. So if I build it here, it will scupper the bridge. Which means that this is fine. Get an engineer and a prefect. We'll put this off. More food is good. If 
forts are filling up, we need Mars Temple to be built. They are building it. I'll have to figure out how to mine marble here. It's a rock. We can do it here. It's gonna be like one or two quarries only. Yeah, it's a couple. I suppose. It still will be some marble. So we don't have to ferry it large distances. But it'll still be okay. Farm. Let's get more workshops. What does our housing advisor say? We can still fit a bunch of people. It's gonna be a tight fit on this map. I have money, we should just keep expanding exponentially at this point. We just need to do it. Even evolving these guys. Which means I need to get furniture. Oil should be pretty straightforward to get. Furniture we will make down here, nearby the natives. Actually, I removed too much. Cannot cancel it. It's okay. We could pacify the natives. It wouldn't be that much of a hassle, and we'll need to labor sponging anyways. So, a space for something. Hey, Florian Dancer. For sure, I can do it. Yes, I can. Just need. Actually. No access to this place. Yeah, right. That should solve them up. There. Go, mission post guy, go. He's a man on a mission. And his mission was a success. Produce it just to have a stockpile because we will need labor sponging very soon. Workshops, furniture. Let's make it happen. I'm kinda tempted to block in the natives. I don't really want them, but let's just keep it like that. It's fine. It's four, five, and six. The warehouse that's gonna be up here somewhere. Actually, this one. Yeah, you will fetch furniture, and we will accept it in here. And an engineer's post somewhere. Preferably somewhere that wouldn't really interfere with things. Let's make it like that. It's gonna accept furniture. This map had very much forests. Furniture is no problem, yeah. It had a lot of trees. It's just uh, adding it is the, is the issue. For the most part. Now we are getting more food, but we need even more because the population is ramping up. So let's bridge over this place. We need to feed them more food types as well, which is gonna be horrendous. I'll try to make some fishing, I guess, just to add to that. You could also bring fish from there. It's not gonna be very efficient, but uh, there is no way for me to fit a granary in here unless I dare down my industry, which I don't want to do. So let's just have it like it is and hopefully all of this just works. Vote our Lord and Savior there. No way to fit two, I don't think. 
This, this, this. Shipyard is gonna be necessary. Where we want our shipyard to be. I want my shipyard to be in here. If possible. But it will necessitate its own things. Connect that up. But for a look here. We don't trust people around here, especially not on a desert. The prefects would let everything burn down. As an army. It's gonna be pretty massive if I remember correctly, which means I am going to invest into a couple of towers as well. So otherwise we are absolutely going to die. Let's clear this. Do we need towers? I think uh, we need them. Might be good. Just to have that insurance because I don't trust this map at all. Played it and it was lethal. I don't know where the verse attack starts, but it's gonna happen pretty soon. Let's put our soldiers right at the foot of that tower. I have something I need to really take care of. Setting. Someone is asking on YouTube about a setting. I made a video about my settings and what I run, and someone's asking something, so I'm just quickly gonna address that. Sorry if it bothers you. We'll continue shortly. Short partial grid on ground con uh, errand construction and its user interface. Spelling there. Of course. Just edit that real quick. That is that. Okay. It's resolved. Let's go back. Insane. That's why I wanted the Grand Temple to Mars to be done. But it's too soon. We have some trouble with labor now. It's okay. Oh yeah, I need to allow fishing. Uh, or fish in this granary. It's usually bad to allow that, but in Augustus it actually makes sense. like we are doing it. Yeah. Good. No doubt the towers did help. At least a bit. Let's hope for some immigration now. How is our housing advisor looking? Not great, but we can still fit some people around here. Evolving them is good. We also need to feed them better. Since we are clearly struggling on that. They want oil as well. I will set up my oil. We are still selling like vast majority of it. We are not overproducing it at all. Which is not what I want to see. 
I'd consider making some oil around here actually. It's like two workshops can be fitted in here. Which means that we will just make a farm there. That bridge is uh, not gonna be nice for my for my things. Oh, uh, I cannot really fiddle around with it though. This farm needs to kind of be here. Can't really change the location of it much. Could do this maybe. Try to see another place for it. We could place it here instead, but that wouldn't really help me like at all. Uh, I'm just gonna have to live with that bridge. Even though it's horrible, we'll just slap extra services on it. I hope it's bad. And we'll do workshops for oil. Two for now. We will start to stockpile some oil. Only get eight. Accept eight oil. And I would add another farm just to be sure because we will need plenty of oil in that block. And once. Once it's done, uh, we still can use it for later things. We also will need a library for each block, so let's get them the library. They'll also want an arena. Let's make one here and make one here. They will want a line house, so let's make a line house somewhere. It can be here, just not that of a place for it. Happier, but labor requirements are insane. I need more people. They are pissed at me, I think. No, they are pleased. Why? Then move in, suckers. Takes a while. But we have some medium insulin now. We do have money, so let's just build some desirability things. Way I'm not bothering with looks today. Because I just need to beat this. Collapse. That's not good. Oh, it's because of this. I see. Right, yeah, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. So that was workshop, workshop, clay pet. We will solve it, I think. And more collapsing, okay. The clay pit. More workshops. Prefect. Everything collapsed. It's alright. Now the watch will work. It's the engineer was spawning on that road. Didn't notice that soon enough. And yeah, looks like we have some evolutions, we have some oil. So they'll be getting all their things. It's evolution. And up to Grand Insula we go. Just need some more stuff. Some of them are at Grand Insula at least. Some of them don't have the second type of food. Well, that's an issue, but uh, we will solve it. We just fish more, I guess. Still kind of ramping up, I suppose. Also doesn't help that it's not very close to get an eye at all. But it's actually, yeah, they return and they pick it up. It's actually peak efficiency. <laughs> For some reason. If this is calculated, that's impressive. No, the distance. Make sure we have some fish. What do we fish next? This is fishable, but it's these uh, small little rivers cannot be bridged over. Needs to be two by two water tile. I think I will set up a new kind of thing here. Let's open this up. Also, time is running out. I need to keep building things. The gods are unhappy as well. That needs to be solved soon. Otherwise, we are in trouble. Make a granary. That doesn't really work. The 
this one well. Make our own. Make sure they have services. Except fish. He will be getting fish into this granar, even though it's only 16. And the gods, yeah, okay, oracles. I need oracles. Where do we build our oracles? It's not that many good spaces here. Also, this place is basically unusable. I could see them being built here, actually. The workshops are kind of fine at this point. Couple are fine. And we'll be building a new block immediately, I guess. We just need to keep expanding. There's no way around that. Clear this. Clear that. Clear this. Covering this place in a reservoir. Access piping. We also have to bring up a new one around here would be okay. Just clear it. Just clear it. We can make furniture elsewhere. Just clear it. Need to have a blank slate. Uh, here is good. What's not good is it takes up a little space. So let's make a reservoir there. Bring it like this. Just cram it in here. Make sure that there is a passage. So this is covered. Gotta cover this place in the reservoir access. It will hopefully. Yeah, it's decent. Now we just need to fit something in here. Which is not gonna be so simple. I would like to replicate this somehow, but uh probably not gonna happen. I'd like to go for a standard block. I really would. Let's try to make it happen. So if you build here, then we need this much space. That's actually fine. So let's bring it out. Make it as long as we should have it. So like this, it's 76. So now we need uh, it to be a little bit longer, or we could make it shorter. Smaller isolated blocks would actually be better for this. And that is... Is it distorted? Yeah, this thing. It's not good. Smaller isolated blocks might actually be better. So we will need like, extra labor sponging anyways. So that will actually save us some well, time and effort. Let's put the extra houses on this side this time. So we'll have it like that. Let's add services to this nook. So it cannot have anything else either. We'll add another prefect because otherwise things will explode. We will add things on this side. Make it plaza. Add some temples. On this side. This is a moment where you invent the banana shaped block. <laughs> if only. This is the moment where you despair. <laughs> because the time is running out, I'm really frustrated. I don't know if we will be able to make it. I hope we will. But you, ne you never know. I cannot fit Grand Temples either, so no Neptune for me. No other things as well. No nice things. Only pain. Is this going to do? No, it's fine. Let's accept wheat. 
we will be getting them at said wheat by utilizing this farm space right here. I feel I'm building wrong, but it, this is the only way you can really fit stuff in here. So it's just a feeling. It's unfortunate, but we cannot fit another farm in there. It's gonna just connect like that. I don't trust the prefect, but let's hope he will do his job for once. It's not good to trust him, the prefect. <laughs> I don't have high hopes. <sighs> Bring more people into the city. Mars Temple is being built. We do need it. We do need it soon. Done, which means that we'll be picking up the epic hut. Reduces good consumption, might actually be better for this than the other one. Economy is not gonna be a big deal. And now that we have it, we will be able to build up some more javelin forts. So let's make it happen. Also, let's make sure the natives are kept at bay at all times. Build a fort. Fort. Build me a fort. It's three, and then we need a fourth one, and it's gonna go here. Let's maximum them up. Tell them to fly <laughs> like this girl. <laughs> well, the Carthaginians are gonna be doing that after they're gonna be T posing on, on our city's death corpse. Which is more or less likely the most logical outcome of this. I need so many services. Uh, I will waste some space with that, there's no way around that. Move in. Bad house. So stressed out. I will need a library. Oh, we have Mark. Market. I'm not sure if one is enough, but. Let's hope it is. Let's get pottery in here, let's get furniture in here. Let's accept some oil. Because I need to make it locally, otherwise it's just not gonna work out, I don't think. So how do we make oil? Farm, olives. Farm? Yeah. Let's make a little bit of oil here. Workshops, oil. Look at the road. It's gonna be pretty bad. Oh well. There it goes. We'll be making a prefect and an engineer. Hey, no. Welcome. Don't you feel like mainstreaming the fate into a single god would simplify that stuff a lot? Just don't know why to build all of these temples when there can be a single god and the alternative is dead. <laughs> I don't know if I have a single god. Well, um, that's what kind of happened with Christianity to Romans, but in the end it didn't really help them much. Quite the contrary, uh, actually. But the reasons for adopting Christianity by Romans are complex. However, this. Uh, this map, of course, has very wrong date, but uh, overall, the scope of Caesar 3 is before the adopted Christianity. Therefore, the cult of Ro Roman pagan gods, polytheism, was common. And at the time, uh, most civilizations actually had polytheism as well. So it's not only Romans that had it, but most civilizations at the time did. 
and it had a reason for it. Uh, it's kind of elaborate though, so I'm not gonna get into it right now. But uh, people at this time were kind of practical a lot uh, in a lot of their things they were doing. They weren't big fans of doing things just cause, and even things like the gods actually did make sense in their uh, little world because of how people's minds operate. And it was kind of easy for them to, for example, assimilate a neighboring culture if they went like, oh yes, we conquered you because our gods are stronger, because we are more numerous. And if you want to also be us, it's easy, just believe in our gods and everything will be fine. And people did, because it's easy to do that. If, yeah, you have a god of thunder, we also have a guy that's like that, but he's more badass. And therefore, that's how uh, things like that actually work, or worked. So, yeah, mm, it had a lot of practical reasoning behind it. It was uh, actually quite a noble idea to be monotheistic in terms of be there being only one god. Initially, pagans actually laughed their ass off at people like that, because it's like, one, one god? We have so many, you just don't stand a chance. We have so many gods on our side and all, all the cool stuff they can do. But, you know, uh, different times. Okay. Attack. What I'm puzzled about is that in school we learned that there were many gods, but there was one, depending on the society. So actually having multiple gods, which are very important for the economic gameplay, but no other feels kinda new to me. Mm. Yeah, I mean, for the gameplay aspect, there, there are things that are affected by individual gods. If you are familiar with Caesar, you would know this game, religion. So they can all have their blessings and curses, and they are very much real in this game. Even if there was a temple or the order of gods in the game, it would more, feel more real and relatable. Mm, maybe if you aren't Roman, <laughs> but I'm also not Roman, but I do know quite a bit about them, and this feels spot on, actually, for their pagan times. And they would even go further with this, like, <laughs> they, they would absolutely steal other people's gods when a war was won or whatever. They would say like, oh yeah, they had this cool cool deity and we could use it, it's really useful. It, it's a uh, goddess of this and that and they could like adopt it and that's what happened a lot. And actually having more and more gods was actually preferable to them and all of them had to have temples and shrines and all that and cults. So it is accurate. It's just, maybe for a modern mind it isn't, for a modern gamer, I'm not sure. For me, Caesar has a nostalgia, so I don't feel that aspect being too prevalent. But what you mention is definitely not something that only you came up with. I think some people did mention that before, I just don't know where and why. But know that you are not alone in your struggle. <laughs> Greek uh, and Roman history, so it's... Yeah. That's Roman history is similar to Greek history in a lot of ways. They even stylized themselves to be descendants of Aeneas, which was supposedly a guy that ran away from Troy after it was destroyed. <laughs> so, uh, not correct, by the way, but uh, or at least it, it cannot be proven or disproven. So I guess I, I guess we cannot tell. But uh, uh, no, they, they really did lie about themselves in terms of like who they are and. They wanted to be as cool as the Greeks, even though it's hard to achieve that. <laughs> I'll have to figure out how to place things in here. Let's just get rid of that. Actress Colonna. Where is the school? Let's touch that road. Make them better in Sulay. We will also get fish in here. Get 16 on like sub 16. We'll need more fish. Do 
use just for fishing. By the way, I noticed your donation yesterday, I think. So thanks for that. It didn't notify me on stream for some reason. I have a donation message set up, but it just didn't trigger for some reason. I know I'm puzzled by that, and I'm sorry that I didn't have the option to acknowledge it, so I'm doing it now. Thanks for that. This, uh, this place is a mess, by the way. I could just use it for bridging and then fish more there, because this, the rocks are making it really hard. Oh, except... Let's make an engineer and a prefect. It's gonna be extra fish. Alright, these guys should evolve. We'll also tax them so that we can support more things. Can we tax them? We can if you move Mercury away. Should we both do that? Because Mercury sucks. Do they have a library? Yeah. No, they don't. Which means Neptune is gonna suck it. Good. This is not so good. Right. Let's fight them again. It's gonna be constant the military activity pretty much, so we just have to cope with that and split our attention between building up and fighting off enemy invasions. Statues around there. I want to keep this open. It's a lot of enemies. I'll have to make some towers here later. Currently, we are still struggling with labor, just to keep one more time as quickly as we want. Fight them off. Go back to it for. It's a wall bank. Venus to Grand Temple would actually be great on this map because of the tight spaces, but I cannot fit one. How do we fit more people? What's our uh, housing advisor say, anyways? So we can fit yeah, a bunch more. We still need like 9,500. That's insane for this scope. And this space. This is what I have. <laughs> okay. I don't think that's uh yeah. I don't think that's what happened at all. But well, nevertheless, we push on. This is gonna be a little bit difficult to handle with the oil as well. So they are getting pottery. I need to make it so that we make pottery locally again in here, which is gonna be fine. Also, don't accept traders in here, that would be the worst. I think they actually came here and bought some of my stuff, that's why it's not looking so good. Fourth one. Let's make a route connected to this. Connected to that. Let's get more things. Cover this. Need more furniture. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I cut down all the trees. Maybe squeeze in something over here. It's a rock. 
Well, you can have one here. And here. It's gonna be four workshops. I cannot fit that realistically anywhere. This is just such a tight spot. It's one. Two, three, four. I guess we can have it like that, but then warehouse. It's gonna suck. Use the bridge. Spark the road. Warehouse. Mm. Like, this is way too far off. So they, they would deliver this stuff, but it's... I, I guess we just make it inefficient, it's fine. We just need some furniture. We cannot really afford to make it better, so let's just do it like that. I think the natives were buying my stuff actually. That's not good. Let's build up these guys. This is gonna get more stable, which is good. Mm. Immediately start building up another block, even though no, we, we need the labor. We need people to actually move in to be able to support another construction project. I know he's angry. He can get his furniture. I think we need more wood. Just make up at least one more farm. It's not gonna be very effective, but it's something. It's devolved because of lack of pottery. They will be getting it there pretty soon. Do they have a forum? Yes, they do. Design a new block. Standard design, I guess. If we can pull it off. Night six. We need to crook it, I guess. Or not. Just try to pull it off. Maybe it's gonna work. No, that wouldn't. Well, I can just cut that house off. It's fine, we've done that before. It's gonna be a pain to water them. Oh, let's just proceed. even need to make some housing in here, which is like the most desperate thing I've thought about in a while. I just need so much. What does God Wiser say? Wiser says we are not doing so well. I did what I know. Give them all the things. Give them plaza. School. The other. I kind of need the market lady to actually come there. Thanks for the bets. I know. <laughs> what is this? At least one tip, please. What? Bets? You just gave me four bits. But, uh, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm not sure if you heard me, but I noticed your donation message on PayPal uh, yesterday after the stream. For some reason, the notification just didn't fire. And I thank you for that. I thank you a lot. Uh, but I just don't know why, and I'm puzzled, because I was setting it up to work, but it just didn't. So... Clearly something's wrong, I'll need to fix it, so pardon me. Let's make the Mercury Temple. Uh, 
And yes, uh, why I did this? I did this because I need markets in here to actually be providing access. Because I cannot fit more logistics in here. <laughs> Just let it happen. Just let them carry it from that distance, it's fine. You'll be giving them uh, all these extra things. So we want them to be nice and beautiful and great insulae. Grand insulae. They might want the second guard actually, I'm not sure if Grand insulae wants that. But uh, let's get a library. Also we might fit in a couple more houses on this side, which would actually be great. Glad people move in. Yes. The gods might get unhappy soon. Need to build more pylons. Inspiration gaming, I can relate. <laughs> it is real desperate. This map is like crazy on the goals. This is a timeline, by the way. It's not time on the victory. It lies. You will absolutely die if you wait too long. Shriek that I'm taxing them, but uh, we need to. Can we, can we, can we water them from somewhere along here? Well, house. Let's make another house, so it's worth it to have it there. Content, so I'll start watering some of these scrubs. Statues. All right. Mm, not great that we have to build that. But it's the only way. He wants fruits. I don't want to make fruits. If I can help it. What do you even do? Uh, uh, more fish? Yeah, I'm gonna get another granary to get food closer here, I guess. Let's just set it up. It's gonna have to have its own service. It will get wheat, it will get fish. Unemployment is rising now. That's kind of good for us. What we need is... I don't want to give him the fruit. Just let him bugger off. I will give him gifts. Just go away. Feels like we are running out of time. Uh, even though we had pretty much constant immigration. Which is broken lately. <laughs> and now I got a badge. Second in bits next to my name. Do I donate it? Not even in this stream. <laughs> Didn't change. No, you did. You did send me four bits. It's the message. What four messages about? Maybe you wanted to send it elsewhere, but it landed here. It's the four bits. Let's make statues. And not many people actually donate, so it's accurate. It's usually they either don't like bets or they just don't, which is fine. Let's make sure this can actually be like that. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Because I think 
the desperation calls for like housing in here, but how am I gonna cover that with things? I let's just build it. Market ladies will cover it while they are getting goods here. It's just really desperate, like building things like this. How the hell? Let's get them a school. Oh, it's gonna cut off that entire staircase. <laughs> Cannot have a school. I can have it there instead. Oh, theater is gonna have a destination walker. Arena is gonna have a destination walker. This didn't have a lion pit, but it's fine, I guess. What they will want to do is a bathhouse. Can we make it? I can make it here. Then they will want a barber. As well as a doctor. Just squeeze into plaza. Let's give them a couple of Lararii in here. They don't seem too happy. It's gonna get better. At least it should. They might actually struggle for some oil. No, we have oil. Where is the attack? Correct formation. Sell some bits. At least I gotta get first O place, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for that. I think first place is probably gonna be fair by still. Uh, he does donate a bit. But I definitely appreciate it. Thanks. I hope it's at least a little bit entertaining to watch. <laughs> but I guess if it wasn't, it probably wouldn't bother. So, do you also uh, follow Jake? Uh, I guess you came with Dark Young's raid yesterday, right? Hey, Baron, welcome. No Chedi on airs. In this mission, no Baron. No. No. Even this is gonna kill me, most like It's two invasions at once. I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh no! What? They would help here for sure, you know nothing, Baron. You don't know the half of it. This map has multiple attacks each year, so recovery is useless. You need to kill them as they appear. I, last time I killed them, I don't know what happened here. Must have misjudged it. No, uh, we don't have a prediction. I only want to beat this map, that's what I want. I'll just load it out to save if we have it. I think we, this is fine. Yeah, it's fine. It just I just don't have this. I'm trying to build it up, but that's okay. We have some unemployment. Let's make some tars. This map is so over the top. You, if you take any losses on your guys, you can just straight up cannot recover, and you die off. So the way to do it is you just don't make legionaries. Instead, make towers and javelin spam. 10 units of javelins couldn't kill that because it's two biggest size attacks at once. <laughs> That's why. Just in time. <laughs> yeah, it went fine with the night height. Also, this is not looking too hot. What are they missing the most? Furniture, I guess. They just cannot get it fast enough. I'll set up new warehouse, I guess. Oh no, I cannot. I can have it here. I can have it downstairs. That's fine. So it downstairs. It's gonna have a little bit of furniture, a little bit of oil, a little bit of pottery. Let's split that furniture and pottery into half. Because oil is in high demand elsewhere as well. Oh uh, yeah, connect it up for now. This is horrific. Okay. Let's make some watchtowers. <laughs> I'm pretty desperate, if you couldn't tell. 
this of all things should tell you. Time slot earlier. Yeah, let's make it go through, through here. There. There we go, that's the attack that killed me. Double attack that killed me. It's from the same place again, right? Yeah. And that's gonna be followed by swift third attack. <laughs> You'd think legionaries could help me with three attacks in a single span of like a couple months. No better. Your only choice in life is javelin spam. You cannot meme. It's like thousand men coming in a half a year. Legionaries die off and then they are useless, if they even reach the fight, which here they could, but the problem is their durability, it's just, they will absolutely die. Oh, let's try to make it this time. Flex the enemy with run. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it worked, I would totally go for it. I'm just, I want to win this map and be done with it. It's not a very good map. You can see the goal is a little bit insane, the space. I'm not sure if, you sh if I showed you the holy natives. Uh, yeah, this is your life. If you thought I do natives, like, a lot. No, you know nothing. <laughs> Jon Snow, this is, this is the native town. Just a few of them, yeah. Also the trumpet noises, but ignore that. What I want to show you is, yeah, you, you build your military here because you don't really have a choice in life. Uh, natives are everywhere. And then trade is fine, money is fine. What's not fine is you, your life, because this is not this is not until victory, this is until you inevitably lose. So, because it's not invasions, it's uh, straight up. If it runs out, you will die. So, uh, yeah, you need to build blocks in this high ground, which is not very waterable unless you really squeeze in the reservoirs. That's fine. I can deal with that. I did in the, even a line block in here. This, use it for farms, use it for the furniture, whatever. I'm developing this now, but this is my only space left. And I need 16,000 people in the city. <laughs> it's insane. This is like covered in rocks. Everything's covered in rocks. Also this. They're coming, yeah, two directions. <laughs> you can see the size of that army. <laughs> it's just a little bit insane. <laughs> I know. The drum solo of the native drummer have, has stopped. <laughs> no mission posts? You have mission posts, but there is no space to build many towers in here. <laughs> they would smash through it. But you know, you can always try. It's just I don't have much faith in that first one. A couple extra guards might actually help. We'll see. Ah, beat hit. It's not good. At least the elephants are kind of derping around a little bit. Yeah, I guess you can make it. It's not looking so hot. Okay, three three. Need to recover the losses, but that actually helped, even though it was just a couple of things. Uh, we will get attacked again very soon, so don't get your hopes up. I'll have to scrap this, we'll have to redesign this road to accommodate things. So I'll have to build up horrible, horrible things if I want to survive. And you want to survive. Okay. Let's make sure this is road blocked off. I don't want this thing to spawn elsewhere. And uh, nobody suggested this to me. I just went like, oh yeah, I should play a Caesar map. What do I choose? <laughs> do I choose this? Because clearly I cannot have nice things even though <laughs> I'm choosing this for myself. <laughs> just mad. I just found it today. a freaking bad house from here. Uh, they will get access by the destination walkers for entertainment. What we might need is just to get a school down here. And 
Yeah. A guard. They will need a guard. Have to move Neptune. Make him live here. Also, I don't really trust that prefect much, but I have no choice. There we go. Not the invasion. Also, gods are not happy with me. Need more articles. Not there. Stupid place. Here and there. Let's make it. It's just one attack, so it's kind of fine. Evolution, but still problems. This is just incapable of getting things because it accepts traders. Things. Okay. Let's not have that. Because they are stealing my stuff. Over the 7,000 population, just bear. Keeping it stable. GG. Yeah, we defeated them, but still, the map is run. The time is running out. We need to be on this. We need to be on this map's case. Solve it. To solve it. It's a pretty good fountain. But it, uh, efficiency of fountains is the least thing I should be worried about in here. Move in here. Yes. Thank you. Do that. Point of laborers. Yes, I have huge unemployment. I need to do something with that, thanks for the heads up. I just get a tunnel vision because I'm so stressed out about the time limit. Uh, fish, we need more fish. Let's do fish. Also, let's do a little bit of timber here. I could actually, yeah, leave more. Even slightly more, it's gonna help. Ship's bridge, please. Wharfs. Wharfs. Dwarfs. Get an arrow. It's, mm, no, it's not nice. Let's have it like that. It still sucks, but uh, one engineer should be fine. Let's just have two prefects, just to be sure. that. I just need some labor sinks. I will. I will absolutely need some labor sinks. You see the amount I need? What we'll need to do, what you need to do on this map, because there is no space to sponge labor in LA. This is gonna be used for housing, all of this. What you need to do is fountain spam in like one little spaces, but then again, you go into this cliff. I, I have money, so let's do it. Let's just uncover it and you build up mission posts or fountains in here. This is your life. Because how the map works. Yeah. Uh, what, did, what did you say? Fishing spot? By the granary? Maybe. Is this? Yes. Good eye. It's gonna make it even worse, but I can relocate the granary, maybe? <laughs> that would maybe be better, yeah. Let's just make sure. That's plentiful. And granite can be placed elsewhere. I could place it here. Instead of this road. Unfortunately, there's gonna have to be this pigstail sticking out. Also, this prefect is just obsolete at this point. So let's not have him. There. Accept. Right, and raw material was timber. Can I have like maybe two? 
That's fine, though. I don't really need more. Oh, let's <laughs> Oh, we can, we can have it, we can stick it out in there, it's just not gonna be very nice. It's gonna abuse the fact that they don't actually need the trees. Let's put it there for a second. And also, it's another big style. Could be really bad. Uh, we will make a warehouse. It's gonna go in here. Another big style, I guess. Since we are... No, 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 we can. We can make it better. I think. Yeah. Can make it better. Proper. Accept. We should also make pottery in here. Or should we? Maybe we do, but I don't have that much space. I'd have to move these guys somewhere, which we can do, maybe. One by one spaces are plenty. Accept some pottery. Make some workshops for pottery. Do. Does it feel wrong? <laughs> yeah, they do. It's one of these maps. Okay, and this is not great. Uh, they will get their stuff though, soon enough. We have some pottery now though, so that should help. And it's just fluctuations like crazy. It will be fine. We'll make some goods. Turtle. I don't have that, Caesar. Have mercy on me. No, more oil. Let's develop this area. It does like to kick you while you are down. You still get wheat? I do! That's one of the good things, but the goal is insane. I cannot reach it, and the invasions are insane. <laughs> I'm sure you saw them, and it's, I'm sure it's not only my uh, perception of them. They are just like American invasions, but like 100 times worse. <laughs> Let's move this, if we can. Let's move the academy. It's expensive, but we don't care. We don't care about expensive, we care about live. We'll make more workshops. We place one, so three more. Are not there. Absolutely not. Fluctuations. I don't like fluctuations. It's gonna get better, maybe. Eventually, right? No. Especially silly. It is insane. Uh, especially on a map like this, where you just don't have space. This is natives, you cannot build on it. <laughs> not, not like that. It's like freaking lungs taken in air, like the Kropskiro, right? If you speed it up, it's a special like that. <laughs> like so, some sort of alien organism. It's like the trunk. <laughs> Only 60 prosperity, yeah. It's the saving grace, I suppose. But still, these fluctuations are killing me. Hey Kerry, welcome. I do clearly hate myself, yeah. How did you guess? I'm not having a good time today. The previous map was fine. It was actually uh, more than fine. It was quite enjoyable. This one, not so much. I don't have things. No. 
be good if you place things differently. But, uh, it's not bother, I guess. Just we can have a granada in there. It's kinda nice. It's not only the population goal though, this map is just overall a little bit silly. I can't even stomach 10,000 for most of the time. Yeah, on most maps it doesn't even make sense because you need to layer a a lot. And here we will have to do that as well. People are already kinda apeshit. I'll have to start making a labor dump. Which maybe it's better to just go with... I'm gonna break my wrist. Can you please make it? Make it so I can carpet down fountain. Please. Please. <laughs> this is not good. This is very not good, but I'll do it. 10,000 will <laughs> I will begrudgingly play. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. That's why there are some people who are like, no, we need to build cities where 50,000 people in the city. And they, they do, and they make the maps for it. And they will disagree if you say otherwise. But this game isn't about fitting tens and tens of thousands of people into a city. The scope of this game isn't as big as these people think. It's just... Silly. And this one isn't like that. It's fun, like 16,000, yeah, it's huge. But I've seen worse. Believe me, I've been there. 50,000, 25,000, stuff like that. They're all welcome to be wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say, I so that people don't think like, oh yeah, America rants about things. No, this is not what only I think. Like, it's a common sense. But I sometimes feel like people need to hear it from other people as well. So it's not just me ranting about it, you know? How many? Yeah, good. Okay, that solved them. And we will pay a huge amount of money for it though. Oh no, 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 no. That will explode. If you don't open up. And that farm is just screwing it up. Ah, oh, okay. I'll need to redesign this. <laughs> I cannot have that because this corner is sneaky. It actually isn't land, it's in fact not anything. Cannot have things on that. Well, I cannot have things on that either. Mm. Make it like that, make it like that, like that. Yes, like this. This is what I had before. When I played it for the first time, yeah, I remember now. Okay. Just go this way, connect up to the generator. I also will also make another prefect because otherwise this will absolutely explode. Uh, the pop goal is just insurmountable. 10,000. Okay. Hmm. Part of me, like the desperate part of me, starts to think about how do I squeeze in people in this and retain prosperity rating. That's not good thinking. If you think like that, you need to seek medical help of the mental variety. Okay, uh, what do we do about this? This is just notoriously unstable. I need to deal with this. How? They're just they're having trouble fetching things. It's too far. I cannot get it closer. Really. Mm, they have stuff. Just don't want to get it. Maybe another market would solve it. I kind of doubt that, but let's give it a shot, I guess. And let's start working on a line block in here. It's what we need. It's not what we want. But it's what we need. I'll 
have to I'll have to really be conservative with the space. Oh, it's awful. I guess this would work. I don't know how I'm, how I'm gonna feed them or anything. It's just it's gonna happen. I could also cut all of the axes, but then we would have to get lion, actors, colony, uh, gladiators, all that. And I need this space for other things, I think. But evolving them is kind of crucial, so maybe having separate thing could be good because they are stealing stuff from there and it's not working out very well. So yeah, furniture, it's right there. It's not much of it, mind you, but it is there. Maybe we want that. Maybe we want to cut it off. We'll just add things here instead. Can we somehow squeeze this in here? We can have a library there instead. Actor school and gladiator school. Gladiator school. Actor school on it. It's unfortunate. Here. Well, it's not nice, but I don't have choices. Cannot pick what I want. Roadblocks. Here it's gonna be a little worse, but still fitable. Okay, and then we will go and cut off this access point. Just don't have it, don't need it. It's not good. And is this connected? Yes. It could benefit from just not having to get all of the things. Because it just cannot handle it. Maybe do it some other way? Oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna start piling up people in here. That. It's that. Up there. 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 I'm watering these scr scrubs is gonna be a real problem. I cannot build stuff in there. I can build them here, but this needs to be some other things as well. Theater. Also, now that we have this, Destination Walker is not gonna work for this. Unless we connect this to that, which we actually will probably do. So maybe it's fine. Let's just connect it. But I insist, I'm not doing so well. Now, about us. School. Near Temple, Neptune. He's gonna cover the majority of them. But we could move Mars. Help out. Might actually move him even more. We have it there. We have a bad house there. So we can fit more people around here. Another attack. I'll have to rotate. Attacks are not helping the situation much, to say the least. This it impacts immigration speed a bunch.
Uh, explosion. That is it. Where was the explosion? Oh, it's here. It's because I stretched the place I need to do a roadblock, I suppose. It worked well before. Just need to roadblock that off. The other somewhere down here. Is this fine? No, it's not fine. I will have to remove this house a bit. This is the fourth attack this year. No immigrants for you. Okay. Explosion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to deal with this. They have moved in. Is it something's exploding again? It's here. I guess the prefects are not able to do their job properly because of reasons. They struggle. Uh, also, this temple, if they don't get temple access, yeah, they will devolve. Oh, what's this thing? I forgot. It was a school, right? Yeah, I need to move this roadblock down here. I need to make another prefect. Up here, just to me, make sure. Yeah, well. Oh, cool. I do. I have an engine here. I do. He's just slacking up. Last temple. Do it. Just move in. Fountain efficiency is not something we worry about at all. So let's just make the fountains happen. Guards might get angry at me for having so many people. Also, help is probably not gonna be great soon. Come to think of it, I'm not sure if this map was made for the health update or not. I will get them a marker, but we also need another granary for food, I guess. Just have it like this. Throw we'll it off, make it fetch wheat and only wheat ever. Actually, no, some fish as well. We have plenty of fish on the other place. Let's do that. Let them move in. Wild house should have goods soon. Soon ish. Oh, let's make a clay pit. Let's make some workshops. Pottery. Let's make a connection that's gonna be heavily roadblocked. It's gonna deliver to that. It's gonna help with the pottery situation. Uh, these guys just devolved completely because of lack of pottery. We are making it here, it's just people are not getting it into this warehouse, which is crucial. Let's make another one. It's gonna get pottery 16, it's gonna get some furniture. Make another fountain. This devolution is horrible for me, by the way. I don't think I can solve this easily. Can't even move anything. See, so yeah, this granite is just empty completely. I know you are unhappy.
I think the author himself said in the description of this map, I haven't tested this map. <laughs> Which usually isn't a good sign when you are signing up to play something. I should know better, but I don't. It's just me. No, we cannot have that. Venus is upset. Yeah, temples are not reaching here. I will reposition one of them, I guess. Initial block. Mars. Uh, anything else I want to hit? Before I was distracted. I'm not sure. Yeah, gods. Gods are unhappy. I need oracles. I guess we built them here. Clay. I'm not giving him play, I'm gonna give him a bribe instead. Why are people pissed? Unemployment, I guess. Gods are not happy. But yeah, it's because of the tents. I just. I need to feed them, yes, I know, but how if the supply is so strained? It is going to be a problem. Oh. Check out trailer as well. gonna get another granite and it's gonna get more and more yeah that's fine just leave it enemy always glad to see the enemy Gonna have to rotate. I think this was the like, like the attempt is kind of close, but also kind of not. We have 90 months left. The goals, the other ones, apart from the prosperity, are fine. Peace is fine. Prosperity blew the rise if we didn't have the tents. Uh, pop, yeah, pop is just unreachable for me. For 6,000 more people. Can you imagine how many more you would need? It's like almost. It's, it's more than half of our current city. And we have this. And the space we have is this. This self space. We have this, but you can fit like three houses in here. This is rocks. We have this. It's like four more houses, maybe, if you get services to them. Which you probably cannot. This is not, fit, not fitting anything. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's reachable, honestly. It's Grand Insulae as well. Like. Mars. Go back. Let's see, I need to stay. Oh. I need to rotate all my units. <laughs> Let's do that. Getting slightly better. Yes. Another attack from there. Okay. So we need to kill this first and then s uh, reposition the units before they hit the other side. Style the elephant. Okay, okay, okay. Run. How are we gonna run here? It might be too late to position themselves there, but I'm gonna risk it. Risk it for the proper veil biscuit.
They are close. So most of our guys are not gonna arrive in there in time, but need to try. Oh, a lot of enemies already there. They've punched through. Maybe they'll route. Let's move back. Did they smash anything important? It might be bad. They still decide to move, I guess. They're probably just stuck on oh, no, our Yeah, they crunched an oracle. It's fine. Let's go back to our forts. And also, the attacks are in. Uh, they will hold your immigration. Therefore, you know, just it's gonna make even harder. Uh, make make the goal even harder. But you know, honestly, in this time scale, I cannot. I cannot fulfill this goal. I know, not even like space-wise. I'm not sure it's possible. Like we have ten thousand in this. We need six thousand more, and this is unstable as fuck already because. Of just there is no farmland around here, so you get food from here. Not enough natives, yes. <laughs> Can show you the natives. Oh, just want to sit to die, I guess. There's nothing I can do about this. Not really. Need another grenade. Another market. Just gonna build it here. Hope that it solves everything. It probably will, will not. Not even close. Just let it happen. We've already built the glorious water park. It's gonna remain there as a monument. For our efforts. Even with this block, I don't think it's enough. I don't think. Like, for sure, it's not enough pop space, but. 5,000 more after the pop cap is filled. No. If this is possible, I would be very surprised. Let's put it that way. Like, this is the space that you have, but for 5,000 people. This doesn't seem like it. Maybe 500 more if you properly level this, but how? You already struggle with food. You could add fish in here, a little bit of it. But that's gonna cut into your housing space. You need to make. You need to realize this is, this is your life. This is where you need to build all your things. So, building wharves, while good for food, is horrible for your uh, space, which is actually a much more crucial resource around here. Some uh, low end patricians maybe be more space efficient. No, the low patrician housing, low level, actually has less housing capacity while it takes a lot in terms of services and desirability and all that. Well, you cannot make any grand temples because I made one and it's just a squeeze already. Three by threes? I don't think so, Baron. You also have to farm through it, and I've already used all my farmland for wheat, and it's not enough. The city is dying. Mm 
I mean, it's an idea. I don't want to like totally discourage that at this point. Any ideas that anyone has uh, th which could make a difference are welcome. However, I don't think that's the answer. This is designed for you not to be pat making patricians, I think. That's why the prosperity is so low, because plebs are the way to go. They are more specific. I'm not talking, no, not this attempt. I mean, overall on this map. Like, for sure not now. Where's Populacity on Insula? Yeah, that's what I think. As well. I had one block in here previously when I played for the first time, but it's not good. I mean, it's a little bit better because you split your grain a bit, but that still wouldn't cut it, I don't think, because I'd have to delete how would I fit my industry. Maybe just don't have industry? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just delete your industry once you get attack space and just really manage that that way. I guess that's, that's how you need to do it. I mean, it's not good. But maybe that's what's necessary. It's really hideous as well when you build it here. It needs to be instead of this granary, there needs to be a reservoir. Yeah, but you need grand insulate because space is your most valuable resource. It's not about anything else, it's the space that's killing you. If I had a lot of, uh, of space and food, these two things. If you had a lot of space and food, I could make infinite city. It's fine, I can just spam fountains in the mountains. It's fine. What's not fine is this map, because you have this. This is your life. If you try to play it, you will see for yourself. Even this, even this, fitting it with all the reservoirs around, actually takes a lot of effort. This is a cliff. Right? So... I've already done a lot to maximize things that I think I don't think people would be able to squeeze as many people in here as possible as I did. At least not a lot of them. But uh Yeah, I just don't know. Like <laughs> it's insane. This map hasn't been properly tested, as stated by the author, clearly. It's the only thing I have to say to it. Because clearly it's insane. Let's make another prefect for public order because this is just dying off. Completely. And now the rampant attacks. You cannot get immigration in the last part of the map because, well, guess what? If there are enemies on the map, immigrants won't arrive. I'm not sure if Ultra is familiar with this as well because when you have insane population goal like this, you need constant stream of immigration, especially when people are dying off from the plague, which will happen when there is like a food like this. So, multiple things going wrong, it's fine. That's why we don't have prediction anymore. It's just making me sad because I wanted to beat it. No. I'm just gonna build on the natives soon, just to see what they do to this it. But, uh, yeah, let's make more fountains, I guess. <laughs> no, I think uh, this attempt is basically sacked. There is no way uh, for me to do that, and there is another attack, or like 20 attacks coming. So, you know, that's that. Uh, yeah, and we cannot get this table enough, just not happening. Stayed up. Also, this is not accepting fish, which it should. But,. The idea of squeezing in another block into this unstable environment is just not not adding up for me. But the choice isn't doable, yeah, I don't think so, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's already unstable as fuck this. This is a problem, a big one. Let's build on the natives. Let's build on the natives, let's cheese the natives off as much as possible everywhere. 
Nice hips. Speed trigger. Yes. You will all hate me. And we will also build on natives here. Is there room inside native town for forts? No, I'm insane. <laughs> there is no, mm, not many squeezes for towers either. You could have something like this, but it's not a fort space. That's the largest one I can find. Maybe this one. They're not killing my units. Do you see this carrier? I am sure this is not supposed to happen. Is this abusable? In some circumstances? Probably not. It's just a weird bug. I'm not sure if Kelly was still here. Might have to report that. Oh, I'll make a save. Well, uh, my forts are still in my... Uh, my legions are in fort. But they are not getting attacked by the natives. Uh, I triggered the natives on purpose, because there are so many, so I wanted to see how many we can get, but, yeah, oh man, they're bugging out with the, with the graphics again, I'm actually gonna drop a save here, because I think this might be interesting to see, and break down, natives not killing for units, plus, oh, I can do a plus, and uh, visual unit bug. I'll slow it down to figure it out. Yeah, this is the peak testing. Probably not, but at least we found something. So, yeah, they leave the fort alive, which shouldn't be happening. And they just pass through them. Sometimes they walk through them, but they don't really hurt them at all. So if you have them like this, they should fight, right? Yeah. Have they retreat to four? We'll be fine after that guy. Spread limit. That shouldn't be one. It's just the natives, they cannot figure it out. They are stuck and they are all trying to pathfind. Yeah. Well, uh, suffice to say, I cannot, I cannot beat this map, it's insane. But a good attempt, I did make it to 10 and a half thousand, 10 and a half thousand population. Uh, the map is a little bit interesting in some quirky ways. I like Marox, so some of the tactical rocks are nice. The terrain features you have to use are great. However, the population goal I find absolutely insane. And some of the logistical problems are just inherent and unsolvable for me. The food problems here. I would maybe need to fit a block in here, but that still wouldn't push me over. So even having that, which is like two and a half thousand still would be a, um, keeping the same sort of problem. Therefore, I declare this map unwinnable. If anyone can prove me wrong, I'm inviting them to do so. Uh, yes, I'm looking for a target over the map. Yeah, they are. They are trying to figure it out. I've built some engineer posts over here. That's why that's inaccessible and they are not killing them, even though they are standing here, some of them. So that's why. Okay. And so yes, that's gonna be it for this map. I would like to lose first, so let's just delete the city. Now they're going help. Let, let us see uh, Emperor fire us and then we are done. Gets out of here. 
It's almost a half cup. Both were the Alarots anyways. And I made the Doria. Well, we know the attacks on this map. I am most displeased. Despite all the funds I invested in your city, and the Senate's generosity with credit, you have let me down. Your city has not repaid the funds it borrowed. My faith in you was misplaced, and I am forced to find another governor to take your place. Perhaps you will fare better <laughs> in the new role I have in Off to the galleys life. with us. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caesar. I did my best that I did, but unfortunately it's just... I don't... I, I truly don't believe it's possible. Which is a shame, the map is kind of quirky and nice. But I just cannot do it. So that hasn't happened in a while, actually. Therefore, I, I think it's kind of good to meet your nemesis this way. But I think it's due to poor testing more than anything else. The map uh, author himself said he didn't test it. So uh, I think that uh, probably has a part in it. If he tested it, he would drop the pop call to something reasonable. But yeah, that's uh, gonna be it from me for today, and I am going to raid someone with you if you stick around for some extra points. So let me just look up if there is anyone who we can raid for some extra soul. Dark Young and Friendly Computer. Let's raid Friendly Computer. He only has a couple of viewers, so you should be happy.